Okay, in this video, we're going to fire up WAMP and start using it. But before we do that, I want to talk just a moment about the text editor we're going to be using in this course. I'm going to be using something called Sublime Text. This is it right here. Uh, you can use absolutely any text editor that you like, as long as it's a coding text editor. Uh, Atom is a popular one. Notepad++ is a popular one. Uh, but Sublime Text is one of the most popular text editors. It's completely free. And uh, so I suggest you use that. But like I said, you can use anything you want. So just head over to Google and type in Sublime Text. And the website is sublimetext.com. And just go head over here and download it. Like I said, it's free. Uh, you'll get a little message every once in a while asking you to donate if you want. You could just ignore that or you can throw those guys some money. Uh, wouldn't be a terrible thing. But uh, go ahead and download that and install it. I'm not going to walk through installing it. It's very straightforward. And we'll just leave it at that. So now it's time to fire up this WAMP. So to start this thing, just head over to your Windows Start menu and type in WAMP. And we see this WAMP Server 64. Go ahead and click that. And then down here on your taskbar, a little W should pop up. It hasn't popped up on mine. If it doesn't on yours, you can click this little carrot. And you can see right here this green W. Now, when I first turned this on, it was red. We didn't get a chance to see it because it didn't show up. But red means it's starting. And then it'll turn orange when it's almost ready. And then it'll turn green when it's ready to use. And it sometimes it could take a minute to start up. It fired up right away for us this time. Um, but if it takes 30 seconds or so, that's normal. It has to start up the Apache web server, has to start up the MySQL thing, and it you know has to do all those things. And sometimes it can take a while. So as long as we see green, it means it's ready to use and, and ready to work. So now let's head over to our Sublime Text Editor and let's just start writing PHP code. So we're going to be using PHP in HTML documents. HTML is hypertext markup language. It's the language of all websites. All websites use HTML. And the thing about PHP is it gets stuck into PH or into HTML. So uh, you sort of have to use them both. In this course, we're going to just use very basic HTML. So if you don't know HTML, that's perfectly fine. You can just copy and paste what I do. But yeah, so let's just start out with creating a very simple HTML document. So let's go doc type HTML, uh, HTML body, and then let's go body HTML. Okay, so it's just a very, very basic HTML page. And we want to save this as a PHP file. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. So uh, let's go ahead and just create our first PHP code. So I'll just write this out. And then we'll talk about it. Hello world. Okay, so this is basic PHP. And in the next video, we'll go through here and I'll talk about all of this stuff and explain some things. But right now, we just want to see if the WAMP server was working correctly. So let's head over to file and then save this, save as. Now, Remember when we installed WAMP, we installed it in that C slash WAMP64 directory. So we need to find that now. So head over to our C and just scroll down until you see the WAMP64. And then inside of here, you'll see this www directory. We want to save all of our PHP files in this directory. But you can see there's already some stuff in here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. And let's just call this PHP. And then inside of this, we want to save this current file as index.php. And all PHP files end in the .php. That's how the web server knows that there's PHP that needs to run. So we can save that. Now, you can see as soon as we did that, boom, the colors changed and everything. So that's cool. Now, to fire this up and see if it worked, just head back to our web browser here and type in localhost. And we see this WAMP configuration, right? So now we can go localhost PHP, which is that directory we just created. Oops, I can spell right. And boom, we get this hello world, which means that it worked. So very cool, very nice. In the next video, we'll start to talk about the PHP we just did. I'll explain the, the PHP tags and what's going on and all the syntax and all that stuff. And that'll be in the next video.